Snoke was a Force-sensitive humanoid genetic strandcast male who ruled the First Order as supreme leader during the New Republic era. Possibly unaware of his true nature, Snoke was an artificial genetic construct created on the planet Exegol by the Dark Lord of the Sith and Galactic Emperor Darth Sidious and his Sith Eternal cult during the reign of the Galactic Empire. After Sidious' resurrection, Snoke's body held no use in the Sith Lord's goal for restoration, so was instead utilized by Sidious for his natural force sensitivity as a proxy he could manipulate for his contingency. Though Snoke possessed an independent mind, he was obliviously influenced by his creator from afar. With his powerful abilities and immense foresight, Snoke eventually gained control of the First Order, a hermit state in the unknown regions formed from a remnant of the Galactic Empire. Despite holding absolute power as supreme leader, Snoke allowed General Armitage Hux to lead the First Order military in his name, preferring to concentrate on spiritual matters of the Force. With the turning of Padawan Ben Solo grandson of the Chosen One Anakin Skywalker to the dark side, Snoke gained the heir to the powerful Skywalker bloodline as his student. Solo adopted the persona of Kylo Ren after renouncing and destroying the Jedi Order. During the last days of the Cold War, Snoke directed his apprentice to hunt and destroy Luke Skywalker, Ren's uncle and former Jedi Master, determined to complete the Great Jedi Purge with Skywalker's death as the last Jedi. Additionally, Snoke authorized a preemptive strike with Starkiller Base against the New Republic that destroyed the Galactic Senate and launched the First Order Resistance War in 34 Abbey. While pursuing his objectives to destroy both the Resistance and Skywalker, however, Snoke was assassinated by Ren, who sought to rule the galaxy as the new supreme leader. By dying at the hands of his apprentice, Snoke's purpose for existence was fulfilled. Kylo Ren murdering Snoke and seizing power over the First Order as supreme leader was an act of ascension worthy of the rule of two, completing the final test laid out for him by the Sith Eternal. They had designed Snoke to mold and groom his student into a master of attack and cunning, testing his worthiness as an heir worthy of the Sith. In addition, such an event allowed Sidious to sidestep the rule of two, in which a dark apprentice slayed their master to obtain ultimate power and ascension within the dark side of the Force. <laughs>